We're going to install the ZX Spectrum emulator Thesaurix, map a controller, and set it to a highly compatible model for games in about two minutes. Click the first link, then scroll past the release notes to the Assets section. Click Show All Assets and download the Windows zip file. Now we need a game to test with, so click the second link, then download Manic Miner. You want the file with the .z80 extension. Unzip Thesaurix, then move the game file to the new directory. Make sure your controller is plugged in, then run thesaurix.exe. Press OK to the startup tooltips, then press either F5 or click to bring up a menu. You're going to get more pop-ups, just be aware the second one is asking if you want to send usage data, so you might want to uncheck that. Now we're going to set up the controller, go to Settings, Hardware. We need to set the joystick type to a model that the game supports. I know Manic Miner supports cursor joystick, so I'm going to pick that. If you pick something unsupported, you might get weird inputs. Then go to Real Joystick Support. Joystick to Events maps your controller to a ZX Spectrum joystick, and Joystick to Keys maps it to keys for games that don't support a controller. So we want to set the first five things here, which are the joystick controls. The rest are emulator controls that you don't really need. You might want to set Escape Menu, that's the menu button, so you can control the menu from a controller. Now we're going to go back and go to Settings, General to set some display options. Here you might want to disable the border, because Spectrum games have a really thick border around the actual game, and disable Window Footer to get rid of the garbage at the bottom. Then if you want, this is where you set full screen. Now we're going back to the menu and we're going to pick Machine. This is where we're picking what computer to actually emulate. For Spectrum games, I'm going to pick an Amstrad ZX Spectrum Plus 2. This has good support for both 48K and 128K games. If you have a compatibility issue, you might need to pick something else. Now just go back to the menu and pick Smart Load, and we're going to pick Manic Miner. And that's it, we're in the game. Finally, just remember the Spectrum is a computer with both a keyboard and a joystick, so you may need to use both to control the game. And one last emulation note, full screen support in Thesaurix is currently experimental and a little buggy in Windows. For whatever reason, a lot of Spectrum emulators have issues with full screen support or easily mapping a joystick, and all things considered, I still think the Sarx is the best overall package. So here I enabled the border in general settings and it made the aspect ratio go out of whack. There's no way to fix this, I just have to restart the Sarx. For other issues, you might just be able to toggle full screen off and on. And one final note, the Sarx doesn't hide your mouse for some reason. So if you're comfortable navigating the menus with a keyboard or controller, you can go to Settings, ZX Vision, and disable the mouse pointer there. That's all for quickly setting up the Sarx. I hope this video helps, and thank you for watching.